Hey everyone, welcome to a special edition of, oh, I don't know what to call it. It's not a special edition of That's Not an Error, but it is uh, an addendum to some of the fancy serial number stuff that I've been talking about lately. Uh, I've received a bunch, oh, I, I shouldn't say that. I, it feels like I received a bunch of criticism on that. The truth be told, two people constantly harped on me with I don't know how many different excuses uh, and neither one of which was the seller, at least I don't think so. And uh, at, to this point, neither one of them has bought what I put up on eBay. So all they're doing is yelling, but they aren't trying to prove me. They aren't trying to prove me wrong because if the stuff that was out there is actually worth what they're saying it's worth, they would easily have bought mine and well doubled their money. But we know that's not the case. All right. But the whole point of today's video isn't isn't to rub it in on the two people who are just going crazy on online. Uh, it's to explain to you guys a couple different ways to look at things as far as rarity and what makes something valuable. All right. Uh, let's look at it this way. We are going to take what we would all agree is a fancy serial number. This is a radar. You can see the serial, 4460644. It reads the same forward and backwards. This is a radar. Certainly a fancy serial number by anybody's definition of what a fancy serial number is. So what is this worth? Anybody? What would you say? The average person would tell you that this is worth probably 20 bucks, 30 bucks, somewhere in that range. That's not ridiculous. That's not a ridiculous thought at all. If it's in lesser lesser condition, maybe $10. But to say that a radar has a value of roughly $20 is well in the ballpark. We'd pretty much all agree with that statement. Okay, so now let's look at a couple different things. To start with, how do you make a radar? What are the chances? Well, every note is going to have four random starting numbers, and the odds of these four numbers then coming in this particular order, well, that, that can only happen one way. So the question becomes, how many different four-digit combinations are there? Well, that would be 0000, 000, 000 all the way to 9999. In other words, 10,000 combinations. Only one of those 10,000 combinations makes this a radar, which means the odds of finding a radar are 1 in 10,000, okay? So now that we've established that a radar is worth $20, and we've established that a radar is 1 in 10,000, how do we apply that to what I was talking about before? Well... What if a number, what if a note wasn't one in 10,000? What if it was more common than that? What if it was one in 1,000? Would it be safe to say that since it's that much more common and we just move the decimal point one place, that we should also, when determining value, move that decimal point one place? Um, okay, that, that makes logical sense. That makes mathematical sense. So if this is 1 in 10,000 and it's worth $20, that means a note that is 1 in 1,000, well, that would only be worth $2, right? I mean, that's just basic math, okay? Um, now, in my top 10 list of worthless fancy notes, the rarest note that I had covered uh, was a four-digit ladder, and that was a point. 3-3% uh, note, which means 3 per 1,000, okay? Not 1 per 1,000, 3 per 1,000. So that was 3 times as likely. Well, if it's 3 times as likely as the $2 note that we were discussing, that means it should be one-third the value. One-third of $2 is 67 cents. So if a note is point Three, three of the population of all notes, its collector value is 67 cents. Luckily, it's still a dollar, so it's worth a dollar, but it is certainly not worth more than face because it's not that rare. All right, when we start talking about rare, 
I was kind of curious as to how many notes there would be of any particular given type. So I did a slightly unscientific thing and uh, I took 1,000 singles, okay? I took 1,000 singles and I spent an entire evening going through these singles and what I did was I pulled 2017A, 2017, and 2013s. Those are the last three series of notes. I pulled one from each Federal Reserve, there are 12 from each of those years. And I looked at the serial number over here, okay? Now for those of you who know, the serial number starts 00001A. And then once they go through all the digits, that's essentially 100 million notes. And then they roll the A to a B. And then they can go through another 100 million notes. And then they do it B to C. And then they turn the C to a D and so on down the line. So, like I said, I went through, a thousand, I went through all 1,000 notes. And I pulled the highest I could find from each one. Okay, so this is essentially what happened. Here's a 2017A from the Boston Reserve, and I couldn't find a serial number that had more than a B. Well, that means they printed not 100 million of these, but roughly 200 million, because they made it to B. So this note represents 200 million notes printed, this one note. This one is from New York, same series. They got to D, which is 400 million. Do you see how this is working, okay? Here's C, 2017A, C. They only had A's, so that's only 100 million. And I went through each of these. You can see, looking at the first digit, there's D, E, F, G, H. Uh, uh, there, I didn't find any I's for this one. J, K, and so on down the line. So all I did was look at the second letter of each one for each of those three series to get an idea of how many notes were printed, okay? Now, it's not the exact number of notes, but it's what I can prove out of simply looking through a thousand notes. So I'm sure there's probably more notes that have been printed. But just using, you know, my random statistical variance right here, that's how I determined how many notes had been printed since the start of the 2013 series. 2013 is not that long ago. It's, it covers the last 10 years is what we're talking about. So I made a little chart. 2013, 2017, 2017A... Here's all the different Federal Reserves. And then for each note, this is how many, or the highest letter from each series. That told me exactly, I just transferred that into numbers, to tell me how many hundreds of millions. And what it amounted to was 170 hundreds of millions. In other words, they printed 17 billion notes, okay? So I did a lot of work to show that in the last 10 years, they printed 17 billion notes. I'm sure they printed more than that. I'm not counting star notes. I'm only counting the particular things that I could find. So if, in this example, if they made it to B or C, well, that's another 100 million or 200 million that I didn't count. So like I said, my unscientific sample size here of 1,000 notes yielded me stuff that I could prove that there was at least 17 billion notes printed in the last 10 years, okay? Now, if there were 17 billion notes printed, let, let's take an extreme example. Let's take a note that's a solid, where you have all ones, you know, eight ones in a row. Well, for every single print run, all 170 print runs that I could show, there could only be one way for that note be, to be, which means in the last 10 years, there have been a grand total of 170 solid one serial numbers. 170 out of 17 billion, 170. Do you see how that's rare? Okay, <laughs> most of you don't understand the concept of how big a million actually is, much less 17 billion, <laughs> but that's irrelevant. What I am saying is that a solid, there was 170 of those printed, and they're worth about two to $4,000 a piece for 170 total notes over the last 10 years. What about these? What about radars? 
Radars are 1 in 10,000. So, if I was to uh, if I was to write that out, I would be moving the decimal point. Uh, what would that be? I'm going to grab my pen, and I will show you. Move this out of the way. Let's see if I can show on here. All right, so if I have 17 billion, so that would be 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Okay. Now, if I had 1 in 10, we would be crossing out this. If I had 1 in 100, I'd cross out this. 1 in 1,000, I'd cross that off. And 1 in 10,000, I'd cross that out. Which means this is our number right here. They printed 1,700,000 radars in the last 10 years. 1,700,000 radars in the last 10 years, and they're worth $20 a piece. Okay, that's at 1 in 10,000. But the rarest note that I talked about in my top 10 videos wasn't 1 in 10,000. It was 1 in 300. 1 in 300. Okay, 1 in 300 means uh, that would be, let's see, we'll just divide this entire 17 billion by 3. Okay, if it was 18 billion, that would be easy. That would be 6 billion a piece. Uh, no, that would be uh, 6. Let me do it the right way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And it's 1 in 300, so we cross off two of these. Now we can put the commas back in. That means they made not 1.7 million of them, but 60 million of them. Okay, 60 million compared to 1.7 million. The 1.7 million were worth $20 a piece, 1.7 million. Then we go to 60 million. Um, no, that's why they aren't worth anything. 60 million. Let's put this in a better perspective, okay? For those four-digit ladders, with 60 million of them made, that means if everybody in the country wanted one, well, there wouldn't be enough to go around. Um, there would be enough for one in every five people to have one, if they wanted one. The thing is, one in five people don't collect coins. About one in a hundred people collect coins. And of that one in a hundred people that collect coins, even fewer of them collect currency. So, of the 350 million, that means roughly 30, well, roughly 30 million, uh, actually, that, that would put it, put it at... 3.5 million coin collectors, and even if every coin collector in the country wanted to collect those notes, that means there would be enough for everyone to have 10 of them. If everybody can have 10 of them, that's not worth anything. 10 for every single collector is not worth anything. None. So you got to look for it, and you're going to find it. So when you t start talking about value, that's what you have to consider. You have to consider how rare the item is, how many people actually collect, what are the odds of finding it, and is it rare in those circumstances? If it is rare, like this, even as rare as this is, that's 20 bucks. If it is less rare than this, well, I just showed you some math to explain how something that is one in 300 uh, there's enough for everybody that actually collects to have 10 of those if they really wanted them. And everybody that collects doesn't really want them. So they're way more abundant than you can imagine. No, there is no value. Value comes from not being able to get it. So that's the math behind a lot of this. And these aren't even the exact numbers. This is simply what I could prove using the notes that were at my uh, at my house at the time of filming. Yeah, I could have went to a website and tried to figure out exactly how many were done, but since I collect notes, I thought this would be a more fun way to do it. So that's how I figured my comparison. Um, those of you who want to insist that notes are worth something or that want to say that a note is worth whatever somebody will pay for it, yes, a note is worth whatever somebody will pay for it if they have all the information. 
So give them this information and then see how much they want to pay for it. Obviously, in the stuff that I set up on my eBay, nobody wants to pay that because they have the information. They know better. Um, if, if I was wrong, then anybody can spend $100 and double their money, but that's not the case. All right, guys, I was just playing with some numbers. I wanted to show you what I come up with. If you learn anything new, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please subscribe. Love reading your comments. Talk to you later.